Here we are, action to get it ready out of the way. The second half here at International Polo Club, Villa de Largo with a strong start as they got up three to nothing on Coca-Cola in the red, but they really have struggled in this last chucker. In fact, there were so many goals uh, by Coca-Cola that these guys are now half of what there should be. So let's see how it plays out here in the second half of the game today. Pick up on the angled shot was that uh, Pilona Scapate on the far side. And here's the follow-up now. Magoo cannot quite get a handle on it as Jillian Johnston digs it out of there. Here comes Jillian, riding hard. This girl can play some polo. She's rated a one goal, but has games where she plays well above that at any time. Follow up, Julio. He's not been able to get the stick on that one. Great game so far today, though. He's knocked in a lot of goals for the red and white team. Mason Rowe. Mason leaves it behind. Mason with a debut performance here today. This guy has really, really had an outstanding game. Now Villa de Largo with the ball. This is Magoo. Magoo Laprina between two white shirts as he got room to get it out of there. Julio challenges. He gives it a hook and a hit at the same time. Back around to the outside. Here's the pickup by Mason. Mason Rowe decides to go for it 60 yards out. Jim Zinni's going to follow it in there. Uh, it's going to be wide. Mason Rowe from Team USPA in a great performance here in his first time in the high goal polo. Magoo, they say play. Nobody's paying attention from 40 yards. Magoo makes a run at it, and he's got the goal. A nice trick play as Magoo at least closes the gap a little bit, 8-4. to four. Going the other way again. A nice pickup. This is number four, Matias Obergon. Obergon rated at five goals, cutting the angle. He's got that one. They're trying to play some catch up now. Villa de Largo at the end of four. It is eight to five. Picking up the action now in the fifth chucker of the Herbie Pinnell finals. Julio Ariano, a big pickup. He's 200 yards from goal. Look at this. He's all alone as he crosses midfield. Julio picks it up, cuts the angle to the right side. This is going to be a solo run. Can they catch him? One shot to go. Wind up. Half shot. Goal. Julio Ariano, his seventh goal of the game, and a great performance on that solo run after he stole the ball away at the other end of the field. Now Julio going back to the left, picking it up on a penalty shot. Wind up, delivers underneath it, 60 yards out, and he nailed it. Great effort. Julio Ariano now has doubled it up again on Villa de Lago as it goes up 10-5 to five in favor of the red and white team. Breakaway shot going to the south end. Obergon goes back, slides a backhander out of the way. Julio on the pickup, though. The shot was a little bit short, so Julio in control. Checks down in front of another man. There's Jillian on the backside. She picks it up. Jillian around to the left has a chance. Here she comes one more time. Can she do it? Yes, Jillian Johnston for Coca-Cola. And now at 11-5, this is a route. Last chucker coming up. Villa de Largo in a lot of trouble here. Penalty shot for Magoo Laprida. Magoo winds up. It's in the air. It's on the way. And it's in. Magoo Laprida makes it 11 to 6. Just a minute into this last chucker. They've got a lot of goals to score if they have any China kind of an opportunity. This, however, is Pelona Scapate, and we're already in the extra time. Magoo on the gray. Correction, Pelone. Pilone rolls a little bit to the outside, one little tapper, little flip around the goal post, and he's got it. Pilone Escapate with a goal makes it 11-7, and that's going to be our final score of the day as Coca-Cola wins the Herbie Pinnell Cup.